TP-Link recently asked us to take a look at two of their routers, one designed for gaming and one designed for multimedia. And that got us thinking, is there really a difference? There are a lot of fancy terms being thrown around, so we decided to break it down and see what they really do. Break it down! Let's start with the most common topic we get asked about when it comes to routers, the speed. We've got two models here with us, the TP-Link Archer C3150 multimedia router and the C3200 gaming router. Let's start with a quick tour of the two routers. They both feature a dual core processor, USB 3.0 and 2.0 ports, and that's about it. The C3200 is tri-band with six antennas, while the C3150 is dual band with four, but more on that later. Physically, they're pretty simple units since all the magic happens on the inside. Both of these routers feature multi-band networks, dynamic load distribution, boosted signal strength, beamforming, and Moomimo. Let's start with the basics. As the names imply, these two routers are capable of providing speeds of up to 3150 megabits per second and 3200 megabits per second, respectively. Now, does a higher number mean you'll get faster internet? Well, not exactly. This number is the maximum theoretical bandwidth the router supports across its channels combined. The 2.4 GHz frequency initial specification was only capable of transmitting up to 600 megabits per second, while the 500 GHz frequency started out at a faster 1300 megabits per second per channel. Eventually, 802.11ac should have a theoretical maximum of up to 7 gigabit per second throughput. That sounds fast, but take a look at your internet speed. Most people probably sit around between 15 and 100 megabits per second. And if you're lucky enough to have fiber, then just around 1000 megabits per second. Even then, you won't be maxing out your router with a single device. And that's the key takeaway from this. A router capable of higher speeds will perform better if you have a lot of bandwidth hungry devices. If you have a 1000 megabits per second fiber line and three people in a house, each using a computer and a smartphone, then you can quickly overload lower end routers. This brings us to our second topic, dual band and triple band connections. As we mentioned earlier, different frequencies provided different bandwidths. Dual band technology allows you to use a 2.4 GHz frequency and 5 GHz frequency at the same time, effectively increasing your overall bandwidth. Tri-band is the same thing except with a third channel on the 5 GHz frequency. The C3150 has four detachable dual band antennas, while the C3200 has three dedicated dual band antennas and three dedicated single band antennas. On top of that, TP-Link's Xtreme architecture uses a dedicated processor for each band. Again, this feature isn't about pure speed, but for minimizing interference. If you're in a densely packed area, such as a high-rise apartment, then the odds are that there are going to be a lot of wireless networks in a small amount of space. If you have a device that supports both dual or tri-band technology, a smart router can automatically redirect your connection through less congested frequencies and channels. For those curious, you can try this experiment at home. Download an app such as Wi-Fi Analyzer for Android and it will show you which channels and frequencies all the Wi-Fi networks in range use. Most routers, even low-end ones, will usually let you configure the exact channel you want. However, it's the higher-end models that can detect and automatically assign you to the less busy channels in real time. TP-Link calls it Smart Connect, but different brands will have different names for it. Everything is done automatically in the background for you, but TP-Link's web interface does let you go in and micromanage your own channels if you prefer. The third feature these routers have is called Nitrocom. Made by Broadcom, it's a fancy way of boosting your maximum throughput by an additional 25%. On average, you'll see routers with advertised speeds of 600 and 1300 megabits per second, as we mentioned earlier. But now, with Nitrocom, you can get speeds of up to 1000 and 2167 megabits per second. Theoretically, of course. Next up, beamforming is another very cool piece of technology, but one that's unfortunately difficult to show on video. A regular router sends out a signal in a uniform circular pattern in a 360 degree circle. So, as you can expect, a lot of those waves are being sent in a direction that's wasted. Beamforming can detect where your devices are and aim the signal so more of it reaches the devices you need. The two extra antennas on the C3200 allow the router to pinpoint your devices even more accurately than with just four. 
And finally, to wrap up this list of router features is a little thing called multi-user, multiple input, multiple output, or Moomimo. The best way to visualize this is a kitchen. A traditional router is a kitchen with just one chef inside. Once customers start coming in, there are a lot of orders that get sent in, and our poor chef simply has to chip away at each dish in the order it arrived to finish cooking. He might start by putting pasta in boiling water, putting a steak on the grill, and start chopping vegetables for a side dish. One chef, three dishes. Now, Mumimo is like having four chefs in the kitchen instead. Four times the amount of processing, as well as the ability to dedicate a specific data stream to a high priority task, such as live streaming gameplay or 4K movies. So I hope this guide helped clear things up with all the new router technology available. All routers can perform the same basic function, but as you go higher up in price, you get more and more features that add convenience and customization that you wouldn't get otherwise. The C3150 is a great multimedia router designed to handle a lot of users each with multiple devices at once, while the C3200 is a powerhouse that's great for managing high priority devices such as a live streaming rig or a networked 4K home theater setup. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment down below for fans with benefits. And subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Or click here to find more info about the routers. Bye. This way? This way.